Hello, I'm Eric Anderson, a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Grove City College. I hope you're having a great visit. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about undergraduate research opportunities at Grove City College and specifically in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. So you might wonder why undergraduate research? Uh, you might wonder what undergraduate research is. Well, undergraduate research is an opportunity for you to answer real world questions while you're an undergraduate, uh, to be involved in original research with a scientist. And here in the mechanical engineering program at Grove City College, we have research labs and several of the professors are involved in original research and include students in that process. And one of the things that you do is you apply things that you learn in the classroom, which a lot of students say um, helps them to enjoy their work in the department more. And in fact, there's research that shows that students are more likely to stick with their major if they do research in their area. Graduate schools also expect you to have research experience if you're interested in going to grad school. And um, you may not know now whether you're interested in going to grad school, but someday you may be. And at Grove City, you'll have the opportunity to get that experience if you need it. Research and development jobs in industry um, are also um, looking for people who have the ability to do data analysis and data taking and doing research helps you gain some of those skills. The other great thing about doing undergraduate research is you learn how to work professionally and with collaborators and how to work on a team. You also get experience using state-of-the-art experimental equipment. And at Grove City, we've got um, some state-of-the-art labs where you can do things in fluid mechanics, in thermodynamics, in biomechanics, and I'll show you some examples of that later. One of the great things about doing research is you're part of a community of people, students and professors, and um, it's a great community to be part of. It's a lot of fun working together and enjoying doing really interesting work together. And you gain uh, experience doing things like going to conferences and doing data analysis and getting out in the field and taking data. We also work with uh, a lot of uh, great collaborators at Grove City College. We've got relationships with organizations like Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, Harvard University, New Jersey Institute of Technology, SeaWorld, Georgia Tech, University of Michigan, uh, Oni Reese, a technical university in France, and many more uh, that I don't have time to mention. My area of research is biofluid dynamics. So I'm gonna show you some of the work that I do and I'm gonna mention some of the work that is done by other scientists at Grove City in the mechanical engineering department. So one of the things that my lab does is tries to answer some big questions in biology. Um, some of these questions are related to resource management. And so some of the work that I do like developing whale tags um, is, uh, for the purpose of helping to manage those resources and protect those organisms. Uh, some of the research I also do is related to um, biologically inspired designs for, for, existence, for example, for uh, efficient vehicles. You can see some pictures here of um, some of the data taking that we did at SeaWorld, um, looking at the sucker of a remora fish to design a suction cup for whale tags that hold on longer than standard suction cups. And we've had some work published recently uh, on that topic. We also do a little bit of work in biologically inspired processes and logistics. Another one of the projects in my lab is looking at how small organisms respond to turbulence. This gives us an idea about the possibilities of their distribution and the health of their popula populations. Um, these are oyster larvae that you're looking at right here. Uh, this is a multi-million dollar industry, part of the food industry and important to um, coastal economies. On the right, you can see the turbulence tank, which was built by Grove City College seniors in the mechanical engineering department. And this device was featured on the Woods Hole Oceanographic website uh, as my group was using it uh, to do some of the research at that institution. We also have um, a faculty member, Dr. Eric Barty, 
who I think you know by this time, uh, who uh, does some work in the food industry in the area of thermodynamics. In particular, his work is related to something called electrohydrodynamic drying. This is using high voltage electric fields to increase energy efficiency in food drying. Um, this is in collaboration with Oni Ries, which I mentioned before, which is a technical university in Nantes, France. And again, all of these things that I'm talking about, all these research labs, um, there are opportunities in them to work with these professors uh, for our students. Human biomechanics is another field that uh, we have faculty members working in, in the mechanical engineering program. Uh, Dr. Gio Richards um, is working on a team that is looking at acoustic signatures of footfall in running to assess athletic condition and injury recovery. And Grove City College has a human performance lab with um, all kinds of devices that can be used to look at athletic ability. And uh, this work is aimed at helping those athletes and, and also helping coaches get information they need about athletic condition and injury. And very recently, we also had a group of students that worked on the NASA Undergraduate Design Challenge um, looking at the possibilities in electric flight. And this is something um, that's just started up at the school. And we've also got a, a club on campus that's um, for people who are interested in aerodynamics and aerospace engineering. So I hope you enjoyed that introduction to uh, the possibilities of research at Grove City College in the mechanical engineering department. The best way to get involved is to talk to your advisor when you get here. I hope that you uh, have a great day and enjoy your visit. Thank you.